what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel so today we got a couple of new things uh we finally got some tow hooks for the truck um also one thing i wanted to show y'all was this splitter the new splitter we got had of this for maybe a month and a half i don't know i had it for a little bit never got to install it all the that's a trip to go to mexico and then work just a bunch of stuff that i haven't even told you about yet but yeah this is the new splitter got rid of my old one well i didn't get rid of it it's still good but i'll probably fix that one in mexico or something we'll do something to that one it's by air designs one this one right here is a cheap one from ebay and yes i said a cheap one from ebay pretty cheap we got it for around 100 and 20 plus taxes pretty cool nice little splitter it's a little higher up than the air design splitter I don't know if you can tell it's a little higher up but it's it's a lot more aggressive um, in terms of like it being more pushed out you know so I really like that and I've seen a lot of people rocking it now I think uh, there's a couple trucks I've seen on a, on a page that were rocking this kind of splitter because the, the, this splitter is not made for this truck. So let me start off with that. It's actually for a 2015 and up, 2015 and through 17, I think. This is a 2018, so the bumper does change a tiny bit. <laughs> but overall, it was a pretty pretty good fit you do have to you know make holes your own holes um, I started off with the middle and then one of the corners and then other corner and then you adjust it from there you make the holes bigger accordingly but it's pretty all right fitment if you ask me right there that's the only thing that really bugs me but Yeah, it's pretty much the only thing that really bugs me. Um, like I said, it's not the, it's not made for this truck, you know. So I, I tried doing my best. You know, I didn't, I, I didn't even really try it at all. As a matter of fact, um, I just started to try to piecing it there. Like I said, I started at, in the center. I actually started at corner. I was like, no, nah, fuck that. I started at the center, and then corner, corner, and then adjusted from there. Cause you think you have it right until you look at it and you're like oh no it looks weird and then this these spaces right there this is a three piece this is a three piece splitter so that's what i'm saying you know and then you have those gaps and i i cut i just couldn't close the gaps right so i just left the even space to match this space this gap and it would have looked you know it just looks all right you know it looks good it doesn't look off because this gap was more closed off this one was really open so i tried matching it and it looks good so pretty good deal on the, on the splitter love it um maybe some people don't but i really do cheap plastic's pretty pretty not super high quality but i mean pretty good if you ask me it's replaceable you know it's not that crazy and something I really like is that those little teeth right here of the grill, that new aftermarket grill that I got. Well, it's not aftermarket, it's actually OEM, but it didn't come with the truck. It actually, you know, um, sort of flows with the bottom teeth of the splitter. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for that. Pretty great deal, whatever, pretty nice. Um, so I thought, you know, it was probably missing, it, it was missing something, you know, <laughs> since it's a little higher, I was like, it just misses that little touch, you know, a little pizzazz of, of something in the front end. And I mean, other than my emblem trying to change it out, but <laughs> those are really pricey. Um, I wanted tow hooks, you know, I really wanted tow hooks. It's been a while that I wanted tow hooks, but I really didn't know when you know because other splitter was pretty aggressive as well i was like nah fuck it 
this one is also aggressive but since it's a lot higher i was like you know maybe it needs something so we finally got some tow hooks excuse me <laughs> finally got some tow hooks on ebay for maybe like 20 something bucks came with the brackets and some bolts and we also got one of these so this is what i really wanted for and this will be attached somewhere right here and just hang and just you know like that so that's what i wanted for it makes it really stand out i've also seen a lot of trucks use this and it looks pretty dope if you ask me so hell yeah that's pretty that's pretty badass you know props to them and yeah i mean we're gonna see if they even fit because I tried making these sort of fit, like I just wanted to prop them up there and it seemed like they weren't gonna fit. If they don't fit, we'll cut them up. And if they still don't fit, um, we'll probably get some different ones and just make those fit. Cause these are really aggressive. The split is really in the way right there, but um, if that option doesn't work either, we'll go ahead and just put this by itself for right now. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and then I'll update shot real quick. Alright guys, so... Um, so there isn't much tools here. I have them most at work, mostly at work, so... They did not fit. They did not fit. They literally just hit up here. They hit up the, uh, I mean up there, at, they hit on the splitter, cause the splitter is like really low profile, so it really um, fucks with the, fucks with the plastic, but, um, so what I did was just cut, cut this in half, cut this in half, well first I removed the hook like the whole little loop move the loop here's the loop itself so cut that off of the other one and then i cut it in half as y'all can see not the best work but i really don't have tools here it fucking sucks but um um yeah so i cut this bracket in half and it still was a it was still hitting maybe like right here where my fingers at so i would cut like this maybe like a little square just so it won't hit the plastic and any type of bump or like high winds or something so it won't scratch it up but um so we're gonna do that and then weld the hook higher up the problem with that is that it's gonna be higher up let's see if i can put this on I do this with my hand guys and I really can't but it's gonna be like welded higher up obviously because we don't have the other half so it's gonna look like that like that so I don't know if it's gonna actually even work or like if it's even gonna look good you know but we are gonna go ahead and put on this um, jet tag whatever they call these I don't know it's a little tag Sparco we're gonna put that See how it looks by itself, at least, you know, just to rock with it. But um, that's the update for right now. I'll probably make a separate video whenever I do fix these, because I do not have time right now. But we'll put the little tags, we'll see how it looks. And yeah, let's see. All right, guys, so there it is. That actually looks pretty damn clean. I'm not gonna damn lie. <laughs> I like it, I don't know. It really stands out just because this truck is, it's not a black, it's a magma red. And sometimes in the night it looks, it looks black. In the day, sometimes if it's washed really good, it looks purple, then reddish and you know, I don't know, that red tag really, really looks good on this type of fucking color with this uh, splitter, of course. 
and it would look good with any type of spreader, but I don't know why. It really like sits down there pretty good. And I did get the red with the blue and the white. There is like all different kinds of colors and combinations, but that's the one I went for. And what I used to um, to secure it were these. I'm pretty sure you can find these anywhere, but these are like the exact size you need. Um, I got these whenever I got these um, tow hooks. So if you want to, if you don't want to put a tow hooks, I guess you can just buy the brackets, the bolt bracket for the tow hooks. If they even sell them, I'm pretty sure they do. Nothing fancy. I mean, you can make these yourself and just weld them or do any kind of like, so it doesn't spit on you. Um, but these ones, you take off that little lid. Go here and show you. So you take off this little lid right here, and then you're gonna slide this in because it's pretty like reduced right here. Like you can't really put anything um through it you know that's what it's made for not to catch any damn debris or shit like that so even though you take this off there's still gonna be a big old plate right here uh don't worry you are gonna fish it through through like a little opening that's right here somewhere I'm gonna fish it through and what i used was my, just my fingers or some little flat tool and also try to... there's a bunch of holes on the frame I don't know if you can see one right here, right there. Right there, you can use that hole. Oh, there's another access hole over here, which you will then use your fingers to, you know, guide this, uh, where you're gonna guide this little bracket. You guide it through, and it's gonna grab both, of, it's gonna go through both of those holes. Then you, you get your bolts that came with my kit. Um, you're gonna get your bolts align the rear one and the rear one you're gonna use it as a guide for the first one like for the front one right here so pretty easy um, you just put that in and you tighten it and it's, it's gonna want to spin on you so you have to sort of like hold it this way so it doesn't spin on you like 360 and that's pretty much it guys I mean this looks pretty dope I like it makes the front end a little Sportier, I guess you could say. Gives it that, you know, little pop contrast. I don't know, I like it. If I don't like it, I mean, fuck it. But I like it, and we'll see what we can do about those tow hooks. So, in the next video, yeah, y'all be on the lookout for the next video. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I, I do have something going on right now. Pretty crazy. Um, pretty big move, so... That's why the videos have been like two weeks apart, two weeks out. But uh, I'm trying to do my best, you know, trying to make these videos pop because um, I'm finally monetized. So all these videos really count, guys. I'm really trying to do my best to modify the vehicle and get y'all, you know, somewhat the best content for right now. In the near future, obviously, like after being financially really stable, um, I would really like to push this truck to the just to the limits, you know. Patience is key, so um, so yeah, y'all be patient, guys, and I'll try to I'll try to pump out some some nice content. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, just on update on the front end, and and yeah, y'all like, y'all comment. I mean, what y'all liked about this video, about the product? I got it on eBay. If y'all want to link. Y'all go ahead and just comment. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, Y'all don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.